Hey there, Light Switches, how you doing? I'm joined by the beautiful Kyla Lagrange. How you doing? Hi, I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm very well. Uh, I'm really pleased to finally meet you. I'm a fan. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, let's start talking straight away by Ashes. By Ashes? About Ashes. Um, I love it. I think it's great. What, what would you say that record means to you? Um, I guess it means a lot of things. It's just like a sort of... Uh, That's too much to start with, isn't it? Uh, no, no, no. It's just like a diary of all the times over the last five years that I've been really miserable. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just uh, a collection of miserable songs. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing better. Um, you, do, you ever, do you ever get pressure? Do you feel pressure from being... Because you are touted as the next big thing by a lot of the media out there. Uh, do, you, do you feel pressure? Do you like that? Do you ignore it? What? Well, I think you have to kind of like let that kind of thing wash over you because if you believed anything like that, then you're yeah. you're in for trouble, aren't yeah. you? I mean, I think music these days is it's incredibly hard to to get a foot on the ladder and even even to be able to just make a living out of making your songs. You know, that's that's really bloody hard these days. Yeah. So I just yeah. the, for me, I'm I'm a massive pessimist. So I always just expect the worst, and then if nice things happen, yeah. I'm I'm pleased. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, that's uh, Walking Through Walls was uh, the first single from uh, Ashes, wasn't it? Yes. Um, tell us about the video for that, because it's beautiful. You've got this long flowing red dress on, and it's like super slow mode. It's pretty beautiful. Tell us about it. Uh, well, I do all my videos with a friend I was at university with uh, called Debbie Scanlon, and another friend called Liz Adams, who does all the editing. And it's nice, because we've done all, all four videos we've done together, and we all just know each other really well now, and we know what we like and what we don't like. and. Uh, yeah, it's just always, they're, they're both, we all have kind of a bit left field taste in film and, and stuff like that anyway, so it... You're always, an 80s fan, aren't you? Um, not in film, I'm re actually, I, I'm an 80s fan in terms of power balance, but... Uh, this young lady here, I'll go present to this year, massive 80s fan, she was singing I Whitney Houston. power balance are just like the bomb, <laughs> and uh, anyway. so yeah, I'm, I, I always like a bit a massive big yeah. chorus. Yeah. Um, do you do like a big chorus? I do. I love yeah. a big chorus. There's That's a lot of drama in your music. Yeah. A lot of drama in your music. I always feel incredibly melodramatic when I write it, so they're never going to be um, chill out songs. <laughs> Has anyone ever told you what, and I don't mean this in a rude way, but what they do when they're listening to your music, like in the car, going to the gym, uh, stuff like that? Yeah, a couple of people, but usually just in a sense of like, you know, yeah, I had a good sort of headbang to that. Yeah. <laughs> What was, what was the last gig you went to, like paid to go to, that you really wanted to go and see? Um, the last gig I paid to go to, well actually it was a present, so well, kind of paid for it, <laughs> not really. <laughs> but it was the Maccabees at Brixton Academy. I go to a lot of gigs all the time though, just through doing what we do, yeah. you know, so um, I'm always seeing bands. But that was the last one where I actually went properly just, yeah. you know, to, uh, <coughs> to go and see a band, yeah. Okay, I've got a question from uh, one of your Twitter followers. I think you've got quite a huge fan base. Uh, this is from Johannes V, so thanks Johannes for this question. Uh, why do you take your shoes off to play and will shoes be the death of good music? Dude! <laughs> I don't think they'll be the death of good music. I just, uh, I never really felt, um, like in rehearsals and everything, I always just take my shoes off to play because I feel more comfortable and I can move around freely and at home I always wear no shoes yeah. and when I'm writing I wear no shoes so yeah. it's just like it's just a way of feeling comfortable I, if sometimes if we just do like an acoustic set and I'm just stood still then I do uh, then I happily wear shoes yeah. but it's more it's more just to feel more more free and yeah. uninhibited I suppose. Do your, do your parents ever come to your gigs? Do they still come to your gigs? Yeah all the time anytime we play in London pretty much they're, they're yeah. there they're Massively supportive. Uh, yeah, they are. Uh, they're big music fans. So. Are, are they musical themselves or? No, they don't play anything or sing, but they love music. So whenever, when I was growing up, there was always music playing around the house, all kinds of genres, all kinds of from different eras. It was, it was a big mixture of, of music, and they're yeah. still big. You know, they always watch George Holland. They always go to gigs. They yeah. go to festivals. Yeah. So yeah. Um, okay, so before I let you go, I need to ask you, because we like to feature the best new and upcoming artists, uh, if there's anybody we should keep an eye out for, we should go and film or interview, that sort of thing. I think the two that are around coming up at the moment are Dorothy. Whoa, 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 whoa. The... <laughs> One. One. <laughs> okay, no, you, can, you can have two, you can, you can have two, you can have two. Uh, okay, I'll have, I'll have two, I'll sneak two in. Yeah, Daughter, who are really good, um, they're just beautiful, like, um, sort of, 
acoustic but a bit more interesting than just plain acoustic and then dog is dead um who are like i suppose like rock pop folk a bit of jazz like everything mixed together they're they're brilliant yeah, yeah. okay uh, and really quickly La, your next single when is it what is it uh good question <laughs> <laughs> i'm still i'm still trying to work that out well i know what i'd like it to be but i just don't know what other pe- if other people agree with me in fact i know other people don't agree with me how, how much of a battle is that is it like a real sort of like boss business suits versus well, creative musician we, we'll have to see <laughs> we'll have to see how much of a battle it will be i don't know i mean to be honest i never really mind that much what is the single because to me and to the people who listen to my music that's probably kind of irrelevant like yeah. if you get the album you get the album yeah. and you love the songs yeah. on the album so whatever the single is is usually just to to play on radio yeah. or whatever so yeah it's, it's already been quite filtrated down to what actually gets on the album hasn't it from all your records or songs that you've written yeah i mean i that was all me i mean i just chose the ones that meant the most to me i didn't want to have any songs on there that were kind of like less less sort of meaningful than others um and yeah there were a lot that uh yeah that had been written but i suppose actually the filtering process is usually more before i get in the studio to record anything then i have all these home recordings so i filter through them usually it's more then than actually once i've recorded it properly so yeah Thanks for spending the time to chat to us in the sun. It finally came out. It's an absolute blessing. Uh, Ladies and gents, it's Kyla Lagrange.